Breaking news, 2023, senators divided over move by Lawa to contest presidential election. Hello, my wonderful people. We have been bringing you up to speed that the Senate President Ahmed Lawa have decided to join the race. This has caused no small division in the Senate. As we speak, the move by Lawa to pick up the APC presidential ticket, which has begun sales already, and the prize mark 100 million naira, which is one of the things fueling corruption in no small way, is a clear indication that this nation has been caved in. In case you are not aware, we're bringing you a full up to date on the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, sharing cars in Kebi State so that they can give him the opportunity to become the governor of Kebi State so that um, he will get support for from the people. And so this is exactly what is going on now. The Senate has been divided when they heard that, Abu, that uh, Ahmed Lawa has decided to join the race. These are supposed to, I mean, the Nigerian constitution is so fraudulent that there are no clear cut demarcation on how things should go. So there is no law and order. Things are done haphazardly. Um, Med Lawa said it was the Northern Elders who told him to join the race that um, PDP is filing in candidates. And if they bring in a Northern candidate, they may not stand a chance as the whole of the North may likely vote for their own. But the North by now should have learned a lesson. What did they do in 2015? They've been begging good luck, Billy Jonathan, for forgiveness since then. 2023, senators divided over move to pick Lawa as consensus presidential candidates. There is a crack in the Senate caucus of the All Progressive Congress over the alleged move to endorse the Senate President Hamed Lawa as the consensual presidential candidate of the parliament. Some lawmakers as earlier expressed their support for other presidential aspirants in the party in the 2023 race. Since Ahmed Lawa is joining the very race, he feels like his people, the Senate, all have to support him. However, this has caused a serious problem. For instance, the lawmaker representing Bruno South in the Senate, Haliu Aminu, is leading the campaign for Rutimi Amechi, and the lawmaker representing Borono Central Sanitarial District, Kazim Shatima, is a key player for Bola Tinubu's campaign. While the lawmaker representing Kano South, Ka Karim Dayi, is the charge of the campaign of the Vice President, Professor Yemi Osibanjo. Apart and aside this name listed above, other senators have presidential aspirants that they are supporting. Ndumi, in an interview with Daily Trust, said Lawas camp has not reached out to him, saying they have not come because they know my position. I have nothing against Ahmed Lawa. He is my colleague, but I have everything against injustice. I won't support even my biological brother filling in a northern man. Is tantamount to injustice and tantamount to a tort tenor. The so-called northern elders are pushing. It is it is them trying to ensure that they remain in power and money still keep flowing in in a in an unjust manner. This is perpetration of injustice. It is the turn of the South and we have to support them to actualize this. I am disappointed with those that are pursuing for this. I have since taken position. Even before the alliance with Amechi, another lawmaker said Lawa is not under pressure to join the race, but he has a personal agenda which he is feeding. He should stop lying on the northern elders. Law, the lawmaker said the brim child of Lawa is his fellow allies. It is untrue that he's been pushed by northern elders. He's pushing himself. Otherwise, tell them to mention the northern elder who have said he must join the race. It is likely, it is purely his aspiration and nobody's pushing him. Rather, he's pushing the people to key into his project. They are planning to present him as Senate, as Senate concessional candidate, and we are going to outrightly, publicly resist that raw, mad work projected by them. The lawmakers in Lawa's camp claim that Senator Lawa is being pressured to join the 2023 race by Northern Elders. That is untrue. Lawmakers 
when asked to mention the name of the northern elders pressurizing Lawa to contest, they should present the names. It is not for the public consortium. I'm one of them. I, I am not one of them, and I'm not older than 70 years old. Politicians who have been there are the ones pushing Lawa. So the lies are all coming out. It's all playing out, and you can see the cracks on the wall, and as things are already falling really apart. This is how Nigerians roll. People who are supposed to be custodians of truth and justice and, you know, instigating and teaching the people and bringing in the right perspective in terms of leadership are the very fabric of what is destroying this nation in no small way. You see, Ahmed Lawa has started saying, well, they are pressurizing me. Who are they? And why are they pressurizing you? You know, so the Senate, Ahmed, I mean, where Ahmed is going is, is he has had a discussion with his own caucus and they say, you know, we are in the Senate. Oh, yeah, we can we can say you are the consensus candidate from the Senate. And you know how many they are. OK, by the time he gets the Senate vote, so to say, and others now join him from the north, he's looking at himself winning. So he has done his own maths, his own calculation here and there. He has put two and two together and said if he comes with this, with this form of reality and lies, he may be able to become Nigerian's president and get APC presidential ticket. Now, guys, listen, the days that are upon us, are days where white will be turned blue. So just get ready. You're going to hear much more. White will be labeled as blue. Yellow will be labeled as pink. I'm saying these colors because they are so distinct that you can know the difference. However, in Nigeria, they will tell you it is not what it is. You have Things have changed. You know, they will, they will call it another name. So these are some of the things happening and we, we can all see for ourselves. So unless we begin to take a real decisive decision on where to go, and what next, okay, to give us real leadership. Those who are going to be good leaders may potentially not have the kind, the kind of money that those who are squandering the money now are doing. Those who are there trying to use money to buy the votes of the people, they may not have that kind of money. You know, they may not have it. And those that have it, you know, maybe some have really worked hard for their money. So I'm gonna, we're not going to be castigating people. That some are stealing does not mean everybody is a thief, okay? That some people are stealing. Some people genuinely worked hard for their money. Now, how they got it is for them and them and, you know, uh, for them and their God to decide. And if anyone has cheats, you know, has become a cheat to what belongs to everybody, you're taking advantage of it. Listen, it's only a matter of time. Even nature detests things that are wrong, you see? Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe.